For all you bookkeepers out there, you probably know that I teach you should charge around 50, 60 and up dollars per hour for bookkeeping. But maybe you have seen advertisements out there on Indeed or Craigslist or wherever you're looking for job postings that pay bookkeepers a minimum wage. So in this video, I'm going to talk all about that phenomenon, why it seems sometimes like bookkeepers are not paid very much per hour, and then how you can really show value to your clients and charge more for your bookkeeping services. I'm Morgan from finepoints.biz. I would love it if you've subscribed to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. So first of all, I'm going to spend some time talking about why is there this disparity between what we think we need to charge as a bookkeeper and what some employers are offering. And I came up with basically three reasons for this. First of all, it's like the budget and value of the employer. And that kind of includes being a contractor versus an employee, which I'm going to talk about. And then the history of bookkeeping, kind of historically, what has it looked like? And then number three is the job description or the tasks and duties that you are asked to perform. All right, so first let's talk about the budget from an employer or a small business owner's perspective. So historically, they're like, okay, I am used to hiring a full-time employee and probably paying them as little as possible just because they are trying to protect their bottom line as a small business owner, which is understandable. So they think that they want to hire you as an employee because that's what they're used to, but really employers have more risk and responsibility when they hire an employee. So throughout this video, we're going to talk about how you can let this business owner know that it's actually more beneficial for them to hire you as a contractor. And I will say, I just hopped on indeed.com and it looks like on there, it has the average salary for bookkeepers per hour as around $20 an hour. I think it's $21 an hour. And of course, this is significantly higher than the, the minimum wage. So the federal minimum wage is $7.25 an hour, and some states adopt that, and then some states have a higher minimum wage, you know, from $10 up to $15 an hour. So I hope you don't get discouraged thinking that employee bookkeepers are always getting paid minimum wage, because that is not the case. All right, number two reason, why is this happening? Why is there that disparity that we talked about? And this is because of the history of the bookkeeping job. Maybe 10, 20 years ago, bookkeeping was primarily a data entry job. So it was the bottom of the totem pole, someone else was, you know, kind of calling the shots and the bookkeeper would just enter everything in like probably a paper ledger. But now things are much more systematized and automated through QuickBooks Online. So all of that data entry, just the simple categorization and putting stuff in there, that's all done by a computer. And the bookkeeper job is really much more elevated at this point. So it's our job to kind of educate people so they can come along with this change in the history of the job. Previously, you probably needed a bunch of people to do some of these tasks that now we do much more quickly. So maybe in an office, you would have someone working on invoicing, someone on doing like office managing, bookkeeping, taking the checks to the bank. Someone else would be more of an accountant. So maybe there was like four different people doing pieces of this job and now they can outsource it to one person, you, the bookkeeper. But what hasn't changed is the value of that task to the business owner. So these are still very essential, important duties to running their business. So if you kind of want to think about it that way, you could argue that you should be paid the job of, you know, three different people or, you know, four half people or something. All right. And the third reason there is this divide happening is because of the job description that small business owners are saying they want when they are advertising for a bookkeeper. So I just quickly did a search on Upward, which is a site that has job postings. And I looked in Washington, for example, and I put a screenshot up here and you can see some of the things that came up. So there's an admin assistant slash bookkeeper. Then there is a bookkeeper listing for that pays 15 to $35 an hour. Then there is a bookkeeper slash customer experience manager and a bookkeeper office manager. So you can see all of these are not just bookkeeper tasks. The job of a bookkeeper people think need to be intertwined with other office manager tasks. And just a really quick side note, there are a couple really good postings on here. Like this one, I'm going to show you the screenshot of this. This is a bookkeeper and it pays $62,000 to $72,000 a year. I think that is a much more reasonable thing for a higher level bookkeeper. The second half of this video is how can you compete? How can you charge more as a bookkeeper, as a contractor bookkeeper? So first of all, you want to explain to your client why it is in their best interest to hire you as a contractor. It's going to be cheaper and easier for them. If you are a contractor for them, they do not have to pay taxes for you. That is going to be the number one money saver for your client. 
So I don't know if you can even do some online calculators about taxes in your state and if you can give them a dollar amount on how much they're saving that they would have to pay as an employee if they hired an employee, that is going to be very convincing for them. So taxes, they don't need to pay you benefits. They don't need to pay you PTO. So they're not giving you any health or any dental. They're not giving you time off that's paid. They don't need to give you an office space or any equipment. So they don't need to, you know, provide you with a new computer every year or two. They don't need to. Office space is pretty expensive. And along with that, of course, comes all the utilities, heating, cooling, all this stuff. So they are really going to be able to streamline that way. You will also be able to do the same amount of work in a shorter period of time. I don't know about you, but I've worked in an office and there's a lot of wasted time in there. You know, there's office parties, there's a bunch of meetings, there's chatting, there's lunch breaks. As a contractor, you are just billing every single hour you're working and nothing more. So let's just do the math for a second, okay? So as a contract bookkeeper, maybe you're charging your client. Let's say they're a lawn service company. So you're charging them $500 to do their books. And in my mind, that is like a medium sized client. So they can probably afford that $500, right? And that's all they're categorizing. You reconcile, you do their invoicing probably for that price. You give them nice clean financial reports. From your perspective, it only takes you maybe like three hours on average a month and then sometimes you have to spend more time doing like extra projects or if there's a problem you have to fix it so you're getting a good hourly rate right but if they were to pay an employee ten dollars an hour for full-time work for a month i just did an online calculator and it would cost uh one thousand seven hundred and forty dollars at ten dollars an hour and that doesn't even take into account all those benefits and office space and equipment and all that stuff we already talked about. So that is a big savings for them. $500 versus $1,700 plus, so probably like $2,000. So the more and more you can get comfortable kind of speaking about this with clients, the better it's gonna be for you. And I did just wanna know, I'm not against getting paid a slightly lesser amount, especially when you're starting out. If you just want some experience, you have a goal in mind and you have something to get out of working for this client for minimum wage. That is totally understandable. And I know different people are in different situations. So I just wanted to mention that, but also that there is definitely potential to make more as you get more confidence and more experience. All right, and then I have a couple tips on how to show this value to your client. My three sections are first, you have a niche expertise. Second, you explain those benefits. And third, you be better than the competition. You've probably heard me say it before, but the more that you can get really detailed expertise in a certain field, the more you can charge. So if you're an attorney for lawyers, I always use this example because it's familiar to me. Tell your potential client that you know Clio you know the, that's the software that lawyers use. You know how to hook up Clio to QuickBooks Online. You know how to deal with trust accounts. You know how to do a three-way reconciliation. These are very specific things that your client is going to need. Maybe they don't even know they need it, but if they're asking for that bookkeeper slash office manager, that person is not going to know those specific things. All right, number two, get good at explaining this reasoning. So basically just everything I'm talking about in this video, just be able to say it in a concise and clear manner to clients. Maybe you want to type out a few key talking points. Maybe you want to put it on your website, key things that explain how it is beneficial to hire a contractor. And then just be better than your competition. A really good contractor is invaluable to a business. So I have worked with some, some amazing people that add so much to my business. So I want you to be that for your clients as well. I have a really old video about how to rock an interview and I have a couple other videos about how to interview as a bookkeeper, but really building that trust with your client and being reliable is so key. That's why some people ask if I'm worried about like QuickBooks has a bookkeeper service that they provide. And I really haven't done a ton of research into it, but um, I think that they charge, you know, it's a cheaper service for a client than paying, you know, these premium rates that I'm talking about. But I really do believe you get what you pay for. And I've seen message boards where people are unhappy with, you know, those bookkeepers. And I'm sure there are some really great ones on there, but I really just kind of see that as any other competition, like any other bookkeepers out there. There's really good ones and then there's not so good ones. And I am gonna be so helpful and follow up so well with my clients and give them such good tips and advice and ideas to streamline. And they're gonna value me so much that they are happy to pay my rates. And kind of one of the time-tested secrets 
is that clients who want to pay rock bottom prices probably are not going to be the best clients. They're probably going to be a bit of a pain, maybe needy. So clients that are willing and able to pay a reasonable living wage are hopefully going to be a better fit for you in the long run. So let me know in the comments what you think about this. Have you been discouraged by different minimum wage ads or have you found it easy to charge higher rates? Let me know what you're thinking. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will be back again next week with another video. Take care. Bye.